Hi guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today I'm going to do a review of my Old Country Barbecue Pits Brazos Offset Smoker. First of all, I love this smoker, and there are several reasons why. But before we get to those, I want to give you some of the basic things that you probably want to know about this smoker. First, this was $999. I bought it on Academy Sports, uh, their website, and they shipped it to me all the way in Los Angeles from Texas for only $99. And when you compare that to a lot of other smokers that are uh, of similar size and, and thickness in, in terms of the steel that they're made out of, this is an absolute bargain, uh, an unbelievable bargain. Uh, I called some other places and shipping charges were somewhere around $500. This, $99, and they delivered it to my door. One thing you should know is that when you get this delivered, make sure the truck that's getting it delivered has a, a lift gate, because otherwise, unless you've got, I don't know, four strong guys just hanging out with you that day, you're not going to be able to get that thing off the truck. This is a traditional offset smoker that you might find in many places around the country. The brand is Old Country Barbecue Pits, and this is the Brazos smoker, or the correct Spanish pronunciation, Brazos. After all, it was made in Mexico. There are several important features you want to look for when you're buying a quality offset smoker and probably the most important is the thickness of the steel itself. So let's open up this door and take a look at this. Right here for this smoker we've got quarter inch thick steel for the whole smoker everywhere. Now that's really important because it's going to help you maintain a temperature and it's going to be very very durable. It's not something that's going to wear out in a couple of years. It can last potentially a lifetime if it's treated right. Another feature I really like is the sliding grate. So this main grate right here, which I believe is about 36 inches long by 18 inches deep here, I love the fact that it can slide out. So I can grab this, slide it out, do anything I need to. If I'm trying to get uh, individual things off of here and it's just difficult to reach in there and get it, to slide it out, maybe I need to wrap a piece of meat. Any of those things become really convenient if I can slide this out. Also, it makes it easy, super easy, to clean the inside. You slide out all the grates, go to town cleaning, afterward you're done sliding back in, and you can store the smoker for as long as you need to. This also has a top rack if you want to use it. So you can slide it in right here, and you can use it to keep some ribs warm or anything like that that you want to do. I wouldn't use it for cooking, I don't think I'd recommend that, but it's a convenient thing that you can use, you don't have to use. Most of the time, I pull this guy out and just leave it sitting, I haven't found it to be super useful. It's not a complaint, it's just I haven't found a use for it. The next important feature I'd like you to see is this deflector plate right here. So as the hot gases and the smoke come out of the firebox, they don't shoot up and over and travel over the top of your food. What it does is it actually pushes it down so that it will come up and then around your food and through the smokestack here. And that's the next thing that's really important to see is this smokestack. Okay, the smokestack here is really important, number one, because it's big, which means it can draw lots and lots of air. So in an offset smoker, you want to draw lots of air through your cooker so you cook your food better. And having a big smokestack helps with that. And you can always tone it down. You can always bring this smaller. Um, you can have a, a smaller amount of gas escaping. But if you want to, you can crank it wide open and get rid of lots of gas through the smoker here. The other thing that's really important about this smokestack is where it comes in um, the cook chamber. So it comes in right in the middle. Or if you look from the inside, it comes in right at grate level, which means that the smoke and heat get drawn across the grate level and then out the smokestack instead of up and over the meat and then getting out of the main cook chamber up top without getting smoke or heat to your meat very well. This works much, much better and those are both very important features to having a successful cook on an offset smoker. The firebox is pretty simple. One thing it does have is a grill grate. If you want to grill with this, you can take the grate slide it in place, and get to grilling. Now I've tried this with charcoal, and it didn't really work very well. The charcoal wasn't quite hot enough to get this kind of sear on the meat that I was trying to grill that I needed. With wood though, I found that if you, if you use wood, you burn it and let it cook down to coals that are really, really hot, 
it's phenomenal. It's a great taste and it's a great sear that you'll get on anything you're trying to grill here. Now would I recommend this over other great grills? Mm, probably not. But will it work as, as something you can use to grill when you need to? Absolutely, it will totally work. The door to this firebox is in some ways wonderful and in other ways horrible. And let me explain what I mean by that. It's wonderful because these vents are big enough that 99% of the time, if you open these, you'll get more than enough oxygen to your fire, no problem at all. Every once in a great while, I might open the whole firebox door, leave it wide open so there's as much air as possible. But it's wonderful because lots of air can get through just the regular vents. Now it's terrible because it's not cool to the touch anywhere. So any place you touch on this firebox will sear your hand if you're if you're not you know gloved up or if you're not using some tool to touch those things. The only exception is the handle, which is fortunate because if the handle would burn your hand, then you're in serious trouble. There are some smokers that have handles to open the firebox door that are cool to the touch, and those are convenient, those are wonderful, but honestly, it's not worth paying you know hundreds or maybe even thousands of extra dollars to get a smoker like that when you can have this one for $999 with $99 shipping. So the way I open it is I'll grab anything that I have on hand. I can use a fire tool, I can use a towel, I can use a chunk of wood, I can use this little hatchet. Just flip the latch open, swing the firebox door open, do anything I need to do. I can put in wood, I can adjust the fire, anything I need to do like that. Close it back up. And then actually, it's cool enough that I can, I can flick this and it swings into place. Next I want to talk to you about three features that this smoker comes with, though they're not super, super important necessarily. It's just good to know what they're like and how they work. So first, we've got this shelf. It's, it's pretty sturdy, but you can also fold it down and it takes up less space. Another thing is this right here, is the grease drain. Now this one is very important. The shelf is not going to make or break you, but having a grease drain in your smoker so that all the grease drains out of it and you're not left with this stuff caked on the inside of your smoker, that is vital. Absolutely get a smoker with a grease drain. If you don't get one with a grease drain, you will be sorry. And the third thing I want to show you here is this bottom rack. Also very sturdy. Here it's welded to the legs and so you can load this up with you know, a hundred pounds of wood if you want to, and it will hold it, no problem. And so it's just a convenient place to store extra things that you have with your smoker, and it's very reliable, um, no problems with those. The hot plate right here is right above the firebox, so as the fire burns in the firebox, it's gonna heat up this hot plate. And you can use this to cook a pot of beans, you can use it to dry out some wood that's a little too green or gotten rained on, something like that. Now is it an essential feature? Definitely not. Might it help you? It might. Have I ever used it for cooking anything? Never. Am I glad it's there? Yes, I am. A few customizations that I did. One is right here. It's a tiny piece of actually barbecue gasket. Where I just cut off a little square and put it right in this spot because as I open the door, it leans against this right here. And so, with the gasket on there, it doesn't go clink, clink, clink every time I open it. But instead, I open it, it goes and just holds in place. Beautiful. You don't have to do that. There's no real purpose. It just made me feel better. So I did it. Uh, another one that actually has a purpose is this thermometer that I installed here. Now this is just the basic thermometer that you can get from the Academy website. It's an old country barbecue pits thermometer and I think it's worked really well. I've had no complaints about it. I mean I could spend extra money and get a Teltru or an Ashcroft or there's no telling how much money I could spend. But this was cheap, I think 12, 15 bucks. And it's been working really, really well. Now, one thing that's important about this is that you have to buy a thermometer if you want, a therm if you want an analog thermometer on your smoker because the smoker gets delivered with no thermometer attached. All it is is it has an open screw port, right, that you can uh, use to put your thermometer in place, but you don't have to drill anything because you just have to screw in your thermometer with the hole that's already there and put your screw on the back and it'll stay in place. Just one thing I would say is make sure you don't turn the thermometer once it's been installed or else it can mess up the calibration. 
And the last thing about this is, if you don't want an analog thermometer, if you just use a digital thermometer and don't even want an analog thermometer on your smoker, you can leave the plug in place so that it's completely sealed and you don't have to worry about smoke leaking out of a hole right in the middle of your smoker. The last modification I want to show you is one that is important. Okay, now I did this in two parts and the reason I did this is because this smoker, these seals weren't very good. It would leak a fair amount of smoke and that's really my only complaint about the entire smoker. Everything else I'm really really happy with. The only thing that really bothered me was that smoke was leaking and so I thought well I have to do something, I have to fix this. I'm going to get the smoke to stop leaking out of the main cook chamber. And so what I did is two things. I got the barbecue gasket and I put it all along the edge so that when it sets down it doesn't clink and um, it works to help seal. And then the second thing I did is there was still a gap between the gasket that I had put on and the main body of the of the door here. And so I got some high temperature silicone and laid it in a bead, not very well I might add, but I did, all the way around the door so that it will keep all the smoke in and doesn't leak anymore. Overall, I really like this smoker a lot. It holds temperature really, really well. It's well built and I don't have any kind of fear that it's gonna stop working at some point. This thing is a tank and it's gonna last for as long as I take care of it. Other things that I think are important to know, the, the only thing I dislike about it is that it leaked smoke around the main cook chamber door, but that was an easy fix. If you can save thousands on a smoker, but you have to spend an extra $40 on some gasket, I'd say that's a great deal. Now, ultimately, I think that this thing cooks great barbecue, and that's why I love it. I highly recommend it, especially at this price point. So for $1,100, you can have this at your door, whereas if you buy other high-end pits, they might be slightly better, maybe, but you're going to be spending twice as much on the smoker, and shipping is going to be five times as much. Now, if you have extra money just lying around, by all means, spend it. Get, get the Cadillac of smokers if you want to. But if you're kind of on a budget, like I am, then this is an absolutely wonderful choice. I can't recommend it highly enough. You will be glad you bought it.